Okay, in this video we'll work through three uh, different trinomials and what we're going to use is the complete the square process, noting that the middle term is odd and when the middle term's odd, it makes life a little more difficult for us to do the process. So let's look at this first trinomial here. So let's focus on x squared plus 5x plus 2 equals 0. So same basic process there. What we're going to do is note that this would be an incomplete square. So to complete the square, we'll run the process of saying x squared plus 5x. And what we're going to do is half 5 and square it. Now, half of 5 is 5 on 2. Okay, and what we're going to do is square the 5 on 2. Okay, so now we've added 5 on 2 all squared. We've got to subtract it. So I write 25 on 4 um, because 5 squared is 25 and 2 squared is 4. And finally, we've got to add 2. Now, because I know I'm going to have to collect up, or not collect up, I'm going to have to add and subtract fractions of unlike terms. When I add 2 to the end of this, I'm going to actually write it as plus 8 on 4. Okay, I'm going to write 2 as being over 4 and over 4 and multiply by 4. That will just make our life with fractions a little easier. Okay, so now we're going x, that, and the base, which is 5 on 2, all squared. Uh, take away, we're going to go 17 on 4 equals 0. Now, what are we doing here? Are we solving? Let's just say for argument's sake we were solving. So I'm not sure whether it says to um, complete the square and factorize or complete the square to solve. Um, so yeah, uh, look, we would solve this uh, using either method to factorize a null factor law. I'm gonna solve it using that inverse operations method. So we'll say that that's x plus five on two all squared equals 17 on four. So I've just added 17 on four to both sides. Now what I'm going to do is root this side and root this side and recall that it's plus or minus when I do this move. All right, so now that leaves me with uh, x plus 5 on 2 on the left-hand side and plus or minus root 17. What I'm going to do is root the 17, which is root 17, and root the 4, which is 2. Now let's subtract 5 on 2 from both sides and I've got plus or minus root 17 on 2, take away 5 on 2, and there are my solutions. Okay, let's try the next one. Okay, so the next trinomial is x squared take 3x take 2 equals 0. All right, so incomplete square, so we're going to complete the square by halving 3, which is 3 on 2, squaring it and adding it. Okay, and it's always add because we always complete the square by adding something to an incomplete square. What I've got to do then is take away 9 on 4. So subtract uh, 3 squared, uh, which is 9, 2 squared, which is 4. Subtract, now 2, I'm going to write that as 8 on 4. So imagine that is 2 over 1. I'm going to go times 4 and times 4 to get my common denominator. Okay, we've got x goes there, subtraction goes there, 3 on 2 goes there, all squared. Take away, what's that? 17 on 4 equals 0. We've got the equal 0 there. Okay, we'll do the same thing as we did before. x take 3 on 2, all squared equals 17 on 4. To solve for x, we're going to root both sides. Recall that we're going to do the plus or minus x take 3 on 2 equals plus or minus root 17 over 2, root 17, root 4, which is equal to 2, and I've got x is equal to plus or minus root 17 on 2 plus 3 on 2. And let's have a look at this last one here. So again, very similar process, x squared take 7x on, no, not 7x, on plus 2 equals 0. All right, fence off the incomplete square and complete it by halving 7 on 2, or halving 7, which is 7 on 2, and squaring it, okay? And that will complete the square. We need to subtract it, which is 49 on 4, plus 2, which we're going to write as 8 on 4 once again. Okay. 
x take away base all squared, take away 41 over 4 equals 0. Let's add that to both sides. x takes 7 on 2 all squared equals 41 on 4. Let's root both sides, noting that the answer will be plus or minus. And we've got x takes 7 on 2 equals plus or minus root 41 over 2. x is equal to plus or minus root 41 over 2 plus 7 on 2. Okay, so there it is. So what I suggest is now that you've sort of watched that and looked at that, try them all again yourself, play the video, see whether you got them right.